Yeah. Pump my here. I'm back to another base build store. Now, to this base, I managed to come up with. Uh, basically, it's a mix of different types of bases. So, I came up with it three days ago. Or something like that. Yeah, three days ago. Yeah, because at the time when you see this video, it's gonna be three days. So, that's right. It's, it's around three days that uh, has passed. And basically, I was talking with remaining. one of the Extreme Builders Clan members, and basically, we he was sending me pictures of bases that he thought that could be something new. Actually, I'm doing this wrong. So, uh, this base involves a very, let's say, actually, I don't need this block, but I'll use it over here. So, this ba base is a mixture of a few bases. So I'm not going to be able to do it as uh, fast as I would do if I was in a game. Simply because, well, I haven't done it in a game yet. So, uh, let's get to it. So uh, as you see, it's really easy in the beginning. It looks like a scroller. Uh, I, I know you guys like scrollers and you, you wanted me to do scrollers. But I don't think it's that good of a base. So what I thought was that, okay, well, there is a base called Jump. Unstuck. I've done a tutorial One on it. Minutes remaining. So basically, if uh, I use that, now this I'm not gonna put here, but um, I'm gonna have to put it like this. Okay, I can't jump on it, so I'm gonna lower it like this. So everything's fine. So you see that this is gonna take me a, a, a while to actually do it. Remaining. Not too long, but not too short of a time. So it's still so up to this point. You see just a regular scroller. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get inside it properly. Yeah, I'm gonna have some troubles getting inside most likely. Ten, but anyway, nine, eight, so seven, over here you see six, it's pretty simple. Five, four, and it's gonna continue being this simple, so don't worry. The preparation phase has begun. Like previously I was doing it that corner, that corner, that corner, and this corner as well. And playtesting it. And initially I was making it pretty big. Like it was super big and it didn't work out. So. Ten, you're gonna have to do it like this. Nine, eight, you jump a little seven, bit. Six, over here. Five, Actually, four, this one you could have used. We could have used two, this block, but I'll get to one. that in a bit. Pick up your so technically, I can replace it. I'm gonna replace it. Replace it in such a way that it's gonna be easier for me to pass the uh, scroller because I don't want to deal with it. So I'm gonna remove this one because I'm not gonna need it. Actually, I will need it down here. And I'm gonna take this guy here. So it doesn't interfere with anything else. And basically, from there on out, it's gonna be easy. So let's. Uh, I'm gonna climb up because I have to. So as you see, actually I can pull this over here, as you can see, and it's going to be covering the entirety of the unstuck. Now. There's a plot twist. It's actually multiple unstucks, which basically it's going to involve three unstuck bases into one plus the scroller. So it's gonna be elevator unstuck, which is the last thing. Uh, we have jump unstuck, which is in the bottom. Bottom. Actually, elevator unstuck is in the middle. But uh, here again, and what's in the in the end is gonna be the unstuck trap, which I've also done a video for. You see what I mean and why it's like this. So, um, you can see. Oops, I'm not supposed to fall down here. So I'm just gonna pull it. It's good now. So, um, you see this block here. Now, over there, you see where it's one of the initial places that people will be. Actually, not people. Zombies will be standing 
and where the unstuck is going to happen. So from here, actually that, yeah, that's that looks fine. So from here, when a zombie jumps, there's gonna get boosted here, and if a if there's two zombies here, one of them jumps on this one, and zombie jumps under it, the zombie is gonna go on over here. So I you okay? Uh, this thing is too low, so I'm gonna have to put it a bit higher. So what I'm doing, and I'm placing the trap here like this, so I can see it very well. So that's why it is like uh, a trap base. Now over there, I'm not gonna put anything. So basically, it's gonna be here. Technically, I could add more traps. But I have decided not to. And I'm gonna make this smaller so players will have to be over here if they want to get unstuck into the the thing itself. Now I'm doing it alone and it goes really slow like this, but in general it's actually pretty fast. Uh I've tried building it for two minutes and thirty seconds with said clan member and it was done pretty fast like we had just enough time to do it and it went good now you're not forced to place these blocks instead of these to prevent unstuck zombies under you you can just place a few blocks here so that's just two options that you have to hide yourself from the zombies when they try to answer actually we forgot we should place this guy here and basically we have this block here so zombies can go under there and now the only thing that's missing is we close the base like this so if there's a zombie here you can easily shoot it you can make it a bit open like this so you have a better better vision but overall this is this is about it I'm gonna revive myself to demonstrate so you enter and you need to pass through this now obviously when the zombies fall down here and oh okay oh it's this space and th they have troubles getting inside right so while they're having troubles you shoot their heads from above now standing on top of the zombies is really useful uh, because you get more headshots like that. That's why I've done it this way. So they get here. They manage to climb up. So a zombie is going to unstuck them up here. And then it's going to unstuck them into the trap. This is the most common unstuck spot. Right above the actual hole. So you're supposed to go here. Like it's okay if you get unstuck here. Because it's easy to get unstuck there. But from there on, you have to move yourself over here if you want to get into the base itself. And that's basically it. So when you're up there, you're basically fine. If you do it with a friend, uh, you, you're, bro you're just going to get inside the base pretty fast. So that Because in most cases, you're going to get another person with you in the base. So yeah. This is about it. This is the base. Um, I'm probably going to attempt to do it in the zombie server. And yeah, that's about it. So, gentlemen, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.